वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज असीम हियर सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो इन द 5 मिनट टॉक सीरीज एंड टुडे आई एम गोना शो यू हाउ लाइक व्हिच सर्वर टू चूज फॉर रिकॉन सो दिस वीडियो वुड बी वेंडर एग्नोस्टिक मीनिंग टू से दैट यू कुड चूज एनी वेंडर बट आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्पेसिफिकेशंस एज टू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सर्वर टू चूज सो सिंस आई हैव बीन यूजिंग डेटा लोशन फॉर फॉर लाइक पास्ट 1 1 एंड 1/2 ईयर और सो सो आई वुड बी लाइक शोइंग ऑल दीस ऑन दैट एंड also the more reason is because it has a strong api and we could use axiom to launch our vps quite fast we are using that and with that also like a lot of manual effort is already being done with the with the axiom tool so you could choose any of the link like any referral link from any of my videos so here is the 100 dollar data lotion referral link so if you want you could use that so you could see that free credit screen so i prefer signing up with google you could also sign up with github or with your mail so this is another account that i have so after you sign in probably you have to enter your card details they, they need that so as to verify it so you could use paypal as well I don't have that PayPal right now, so I'll be entering my card details here. I think they use that to verify first, but that's that's not very difficult to do. So it's not that they would be charging you or anything. Uh, they just need this so as to verify. Like people don't go and set up bot accounts. So let me fill this first. I mentioned that we won't charge you. Uh, you might see a pre-authorization charge to verify the card. and that would be reversed within a week so what happened with me was when i used the hacking simplified account to make a data lotion account and i did this so they initially charged me 10 dollars and i did complain so there was no response from them but that was like due to the covid reason so eventually they responded back in a week or 10 days and all that was refunded so nothing was charged from my account i got the 100 dollar credit as it was mentioned there Doctor filling means address details and all that. They would verify the account by like deducting some charge, I would guess. So these are some of the things that you have to do like for the first time. I choose Ubuntu, but I would say that you could skip this as well and just go to the control panel. So you could see that hundred dollar credit has already been added to your account. So I would say it, use it wisely because you have this for sixty days. So it's better that you utilize this. So let's get started with our droplet. So I would suggest that you make five droplets of ten dollar, because I've already talked about it. Why I suggest that. So you could have this as well, since you have hundred dollars and it would eventually expire. So you could choose either of these, but uh, like after these, like suppose you, if you don't have the hundred dollar credit, so I'm talking about that. Like what machine you should choose. So I would go with this ten dollar droplet. It does the work fine. However, if you want, you could go with this forty dollar, and you could run it for like ten hours, and you could still be charged point six dollars. But for the purposes of like most of the would like most of the people would be comfortable with, I suggest that ten dollar per month is enough for your like bug bounty needs, your recon, and all those things. So let's look at the specs. Not I'm not like I since I was telling you that I would be vendor agnostic, so it's that that. it it like it has 2 gb ram one cpu 50 gb ssd and the transfer is 2 tb so since you would be doing a lot of recon thing so it's best that you have a lot of like data bandwidth you could like you could skip this block volume i would suggest choosing new york because i think the data centers are faster i'm not sure about this but i think that ssh keys uh, i would suggest adding this uh, let me copy my ssh key So if you don't have the SSH key, they have the instructions for that as well. Host name you could leave as it is. System backup, create droplet. So once this droplet has been created, you could like straight away log in into that or SSH into that. So this is the IP. So what I usually do is I just I have this configured, so I prefer like. not uh, writing ssh root all the time and just
so bbty4 and this is my copy this so this is so what i would have to do now just i would have to type ssh bbty4 and i would get access to that machine so first time they would ask yes or no so allow this so they would add it into their known host in like on your system and now you have access to your machine droplet of 2 gb ram and like one cpu is enough for your scanning uh, that's like i have not faced any difficulty scanning any other targets whether it be yahoo or any smaller target as well so thank you hope you enjoyed this video